Welcome back you guys to Alan Wake 2. I am your host Tedious Jolly. Link in the description so you don't get spoiled because we did a lot in the last one. We finished episode 2 I believe. So yeah, go check that out. Leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoy. Also comment, I love hearing from you guys. Let's go! Spoilers in 3, 2, 1. One and three quarters. One and a half. I'll work Go. the next steps out on the case board. <laughs> Who are you? What is this? Who are you? Hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, sir. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm not to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Are you okay? No, no! It's my fault! They got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13. Anderson, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. A crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. <laughs> He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Okay, we have a lot to talk about. Alex Casey? How? Yeah. Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Huh? Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. Oh, okay. It's a bit of a height to the car, Wake. Just get your bearings. Then we'll head out. I just... I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, it's getting dark. We need to move. You have a flashlight? It's not safe without a light. I have a light. And a gun. You can relax, Wake. And Pages, if you see pages of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. It's okay. Take your time. All right, let's go look, take a look. Dead end? Unless. No. I can't. Ok. 
Okay, where are we at? That's a way in somewhere else. And there's something over here, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I love the mechanic of no needing to crouch. Oh, <gasps> dear! Hello, what happened to you? Ooh. I'm going to go for a swim. I guess not. I've been stopped by the forces of nature that it is uh, Zaga's mind. Uh, now where the hell are we going? Yeah, what the hell are we missing? Ooh! Time to waste all our time on this. Uh. Oh. Yay! Yippee! Ooh, a flare. Oh, and another storage uh, row. Remember, they look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals. It's our job to hunt them and get and got them. Okay. And got them. Ah, got him. Uh, can I go, please? Oh no, something's wrong. Okay, I'm done. Let me out. Okay, thank you. What else are we looking for? The overlap is this way. But what else is over here? Hmm. Oh, this is where we came from. Where Nightingale came from. I remember this. Ooh, gimme. Nightingale in, in the dark place. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer he despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence rumbled, not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught, murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there, but he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. Okay. Right, case board. Words on the heart. Where is don't the heart? Don't need to go over all this again. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> yep, we're not touching that. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought I thought this was uh. An important thing, but I guess not. Where else? Ooh, gimme. Free stuff. My favorite. I love, I just love free stuff. Okay. Cool. Then we go the other way. Right? Yeah, there's no other place to go, really. Double check. Yeah, no. It's just that stuff over there. 
Unless... Is there a way up here? No. We can't get through. Okay. Let's get back to... Alex and... Alan. Alan and Alex. What about this? What's this? Oh! I knew I was missing something. The overlap! The reality-changing influence of the dark place flowed like water flowed, like fear flowed, down the path of least resistance, eroding the weak spots until they cracked. In places where reality was more yielding, where a story told and retold, imagination sparked and fear ignited again and again, had softened the walls of reality, sites of violence and tragedy, where truth was laced with fiction, where a work of art proposed an alternative narrative, something people could suspect to be true, something people felt strongly about, something they feared. The stronger the connection between the belief and emotional response, the better, the darker, the better. A ghost of a witch ripping a man's heart from his chest, two brothers murdering the neighbors and hiding their bodies in a well, a young woman haunting the flooded bunker where she drowned, Bedtime stories, folk tales, urban legends connected to a specific place. These were the sites where the overlaps came to be. Okay. So we so they want to create these overlaps, at least the darkness, maybe. Or was it So it doesn't seem like Alan tried to get out he wanted to but like I don't think that's the end goal I think the darkness is trying to escape itself it wants to be free and we can't let it you guys are just sitting here am I missing something here Did something happened was there any fan around with the yeah. flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap. To Nightingale. Wait a minute. Listen here, you Nightingale. Nothing? Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, what about up here? Nope. There's not even an option to get up there. Hmm. We're missing something. Yeah, we are missing something, for sure. Well, I can't jump up. We're missing one little thing. It's going to eat at us. Huh. Well... No? What else could there be? Am I missing something? I might be missing something. The cult stashes. Cauldron Lake. Here they are. At Cauldron Lake. Wait, didn't we put that up? I thought we did. Right, right. The cult of the tree. Dehumanizing their victims. They are pr the predators and their prey. 
Is there anything else? Oh, optional, and then we go back. So it's optional to investigate here. So we want to get back to the car. I think we got everything, then. Ah, stop. What was that noise? I don't need that in my life. Come on now. There's a lot of ammo in that shotgun. Yeah, I think we got everything of value. Let's get back. Oh, right. So the rock closes in the daytime? Huh? Or did we clear it when we did that whole show me the heart thing? I think we did. If that makes sense. We don't understand the darkness very well. Why would we do that? Oh. Do we have another option here? That's not good. Okay. <gasps> oh, crap. No. Even the animals are turning into monsters. Wait, they are? Is it dead? Where did it go? Get into the light. I don't like... Alright. Let's heal up, actually. A trauma pad. Yeah, just take some painkillers. What does this look like? Mm. Yeah, just... <laughs> munch, a whole bunch. I don't like this. Okay, I have more of the shotgun shells than I do anything else. Oh! <gasps> Is that girl still alive? That old woman? Uh, what, what was her name? I forget. Hmm. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. So my will makes that happen. So we're able to stun him like that. So do we have psychic powers technically? What happens if we go the other way? Yeah, what if we go this way? Right, we want to go across this bridge, maybe? A whole new area to explore. My favorite. Streamside Cauldron Lake. Okay, what do we have over There's something written here. A poem? Oh. 
or a riddle. Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. Oh no. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. Huh. One bird for light. Oh, we don't have the items required for this. Uh, weird. Some type of puzzle. A little clothes pindle. A bird. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. A bird. One bird for light. Two for darkness. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, I figured. Okay, we'll keep it for now. Apple. I want to push it over. Let me push it over. Okay, fine. I'll leave. Right, right. We're in. We're in a dangerous area. A big open space. Danger. There is danger here. Wait a minute. Could there be something that way as well? Before the beach? Like, imagine it, guys. It could be a lunchbox. We can't possibly forget the lunchbox. Oh! <gasps> Fishing rod. We get to go fishing. Oh, a note. Today's catch. A yellow perch and a mid-sized pike. Almost caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. Saw an out-of-towner walking around in the woods just before sunrise. Had binoculars or a telescope or something. Oh. Oh. Taking notes. Didn't notice me. Good. Don't need the attention. Today's catch. Just an old rubber boot. Some of the regular creepies roaming around again. <laughs> what? Avoided them as usual. Why? No one even known. <laughs> no one notices. A quiet old fisherman. Not even the fish. Okay, we need to find this person. Oh, no man again. Why does he leave his box here? Oh. I think that's self-explanatory, I guess. Did he die? Was he summoned by the lake? Lake people? The cult of the tree? I'm guessing that's the case. Hmm. Private cabin. That looks important. What's up here? <coughs> Watch finder's station. Okay, let's look up here. Take a look around. Is that a... A weird mug, then? Ooh. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location. And a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. 
These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Ooh. All right, recording check. Okay, we're good. All right, what do we have over here? Another one of those rhymes. Fun. The hero, brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry, that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved the most. Oh... Does this mean me? Use the crow doll. What did I lose the most? Hmm. We can always come back to these. What's that noise? Right, and there weren't any, like, extraordinary, like, outlying markers for the other one, I don't think, to mention that. Huh. Ooh. I don't know, I don't like getting snuck up on here. Why are you on the bed? Why are you facing the corner? That's a little bit rude. But then again, it might be just... Just something important. Oh, what do we get here? Tip of the day. When nature calls on a hike, check the direction of the wind before answering. <laughs> Hikers have broken off branches of some of the trees down by the lake to, to make an illegal fire. Tried to fix some of the damage, doused the area. Maybe put on more instructional signs? Maybe not. Uh, I also found some tracks I couldn't recognize. Pretty big. A wolverine? Or footprints that were smeared? Either way, they were wandering around in strange patterns. Might be a sick animal. We'll need to keep an eye out. Oh wait, there's one more. Poem of the day. The sun, as she sleeps, knows not the woes of men. Who toss and turn and worry and fret and wish they had her blissful slumber. Observations. Picked up a bunch of trash left by tourists despite posted guidance. Humans are the worst. I agree. Thought of the day. Every majestic pine was once a wee acorn. <laughs> Okay, a lot of new growth in the area. Some of the saplings I planted earlier are already are really thriving. Must be all this rain. I don't mind it either. Great sounds to sleep sleep to. It's amazing what a good <laughs> good night's rest and a warm cup of coffee can do. Yeah, I agree. I really don't like that. Close that door. I don't want anyone coming in here. Duck. Duck. Goose. Wait, 
why is there a whole bunch of toys? Ah, stop it. I can't be bested by a door. Not now, please. There we go. Oh! 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 Control. The FBC is here. Ooh, password. I feel bad for these guys. Yeah. Oh, is it my mission to pet all of them? All right. But we got to take a look at that again. That's scary. Why do I do that? Okay, what's in here? No. What is the code? No. The sun as she sleeps. No, it's not the woes of men. Hmm. I have no clue. Must be something else. Is this a six digits? What does it say there? Two six two five four seven. Two five four seven. What else? What is it, zero then? Okay. Two, five, four, seven. Huh. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, moment of truth, I guess. Wait a minute. Feel stupid. Two five four seven. Yay! Why was it six digits if it's only four? Doctor Marmont and Doctor Marmont. Here is the promised update on the project's first experimentations. The test items. W used were plastic and animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls. The iconographic nature of the test items was hypothesized to be beneficial for the research purposes. Test results negative. I will continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary. Dr. Eugene Campbell, lead researcher, parafictional research. Okay, Eugene. I have received your favorable review of my project's proposal. Thank you. I need not remind you that my academic as well as recreational expertise in mythology, folklore, writing, will indeed lend the, <laughs> the needed credibility to the project in leading it and creating the testing material. 
Okay. Huh. Hello? Oh, I thought I heard... heard people talking, but it's outside. It's cold, so sound carries a lot farther. Alright, what do we have here? Hello? Research into the reality-altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area, utilizing fiction and art as a source, and then manifesting the results into existence. The FBC's intent in this research project is to experiment with the nursery rhymes in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. We will create nursery rhyme text with a specific function. Huh. Ah, pencil. Why'd you move? I'm pretty sure it was the pencil. I'll shoot you, pencil. Don't make me. Shoot you dead. Stop breathing. Stop breathing like that. Wolf doll. Hero doll. Oh, the hero. Okay, what do we have here? Witch finder station, steam side, and cauldron lake rental cabins. Huh. Okay, what else is here? So he videotaped his playing with dolls exercise. I understand. So he tried to do things here with all this, with all the toys. Well, am I missing any figurines? No. No. Whoa, the move. The book just moved. No, stop. Why? I want out. Alright. What the hell? I'm paranoid now. I heard something moving. Oh, it's me. I hate that so much. Now, close this damn door. Okay, good. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. The hero, brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. Wolf. Hero. Hero. He ate the house without a host. Something feels different. I should look around. Oh, no. What is this? Oh. <gasps> Oh, man. What did I okay, do? Okay, then. What the hell did I just do? I've done things that I'm not proud of. Just now. <laughs> I, I don't know what I did. Mm-mm. <gasps> Okay, we're good. A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. All right. Huh. Save that was you from... strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. 
saves you from death but shatters in the process. Huh. Cool. That's just gonna be in my inventory forever. Well, I'm gonna pick you guys back up. Thank you. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet oh, you in the parking lot. Who says that I'm done? I'm not done yet. You don't tell me when I'm done, Saga. Okay. I am not reading all that. <laughs> All right, time's up. Ooh. Can I use the gun? Damn, that's a heavy duty lock. If I do it right there, it goes through it. Cool. Oh, I don't like this. Okay. What's over here? Uncharted and dark woods. The birdhouse. No. I like how no one calls to see if I'm okay. <laughs> like... Like, Anderson, are you okay? I heard a gunshot. Nope. Like, you would think, right? Well, hello there. The minigame. Oh. Yay! I did it! I did it! Yay! Okay, manual save. The second one. Yes. The Cult of the Tree! Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the Cult of the Tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forests. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth. The real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. Yeah, keep people away from the trees. Ooh. What's this? Oh, that's cute. They leave little notes. Okay. Okay, back to the car we go. What? <laughs> I don't hear the generator anymore. Should I be concerned? What about down here? What's down here? Oh. We 
are in a dangerous place. And down here is a side quest or something. Yes. Get away from me. Uh-uh. Where'd it go? Oh, hell no. Hell no. You get back here. Don't you screw with me. Uh... Minus two? Five. Oh, okay. Eight? Seven minus two is five. Eight. Five, eight. Five, the eight, cult six. is leaving supplies around for themselves. Rock, rock, tree. What was tree? Tree is eight. Yes, tree is eight. All right, five and six. Six, five, eight. Are you one of us, or one of them? Okay. Free stuff! Free stuff! Yay! Alright. I knew there was some special stuff over here. I just knew it. Now we run away from where the wolves were. Oh, okay. We're not allowed to go that way. Okay, I need to aim better. Ooh. That was almost bad. That was almost very bad. Well, this is promising. Give. Give. There's another lunchbox. Yep. Fragment. I looked down at the rippling river. The moonlight danced over each and every little wave. A marching band of shimmering light, lonely and cold, I hugged myself and sighed. I thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed, and like a spectral surprise, he was there! 
His face smiling at me, reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to look, to believe it was true. But it was true. He was there, my love, my savior, my writer. Huh. So Alan's a savior. All right. Finally, we're we're out of there. Th then again, can we go further? Or did we already? We did. Okay, cool. Twelve bullets. Is it enough? I don't know. We'll have to make do. Okay. So we gotta get back to the car, which is this way. Yeah, I don't like that. It sounded like there's an enemy close. Right, and it's this way. Right? Yeah, it is this way. Okay, we need to get back. Not a good sound. Oh, it's that station up there, isn't it? The FBC tower thingy. It has to be. What do we have over here? What's wrong? Detected. A W E. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an A W E? Casey, what exactly does the FBC do? After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. Yeah. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? Yeah, things are turning bad. Pretty sure it's a bad time. I'll be back in a second, but if I don't, leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. For more daily videos, walkthroughs, just like this one, also comment. I love hearing from you guys, and yeah, peace.